Hi crafters, this is Cassie, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That Monthly Sublimation Box. For today's tutorial, we're working from our September 2021 box titled, Fall Back Into Your Favorites. I'm very excited about today's project because I think it's a very unique item and this makes a great gift for anyone and everyone. So today we're going to sublimate on a glass clock. The clock comes packaged in this nice box, wrapped in a protective layer. See it here. You have all the individual parts that you need that comes with the clock minus the battery. That the AA battery that you need is not included. So we have all our parts here. I'm gonna move them over and we will assemble after we uh, press the clock. So the clock actually goes landscape. My fingerprints are everywhere. <laughs> um, when you print your picture, if you decide to put a picture here or if you're gonna put text here on your clock, do not reverse the image. You wanna print your image right side up as you would a normal print. You are going to tape it to the back on the white side where you can't see the numbers. You're gonna tape your design there. So let's do that. For this item, you're gonna press it at 400 degrees for four minutes on light pressure. You wanna use as light of, as pressure as possible so that you don't crack the clock. Um, another recommendation for the clock is to use a press pillow or something to put your clock on top of instead of it being directly on your heat press to give it a little more protection. So I'm going to use a press pillow as I, I press this down. And then I'm also going to add a piece of butcher paper. So I'm going to have my press pillow, a piece of butcher paper, the clock, and then another sheet of butcher paper on top. And again, we're going to press this for 400 degrees for four minutes. Uh, make sure in that time that you grab your a heat resistant gloves because when you remove this from your press it's going to be extremely hot so i'm going to take it over to my press and we'll be right back just wanted to point out one other thing you're actually gonna clamp down from this side so your press pillow butcher paper the clock with your image side facing up and then another sheet of butcher paper let's go So I'm gonna let this cool off and then we will assemble the parts. All right, we are back. It's uh, still a little warm, but um, I can hold it. It's not too hot where I can't um, handle it. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and put your AA battery in the back and as soon as you get that in there, you can hear this ticking. Um, so that will let you know that definitely have a good battery. And then we're gonna put the legs on. So these are your legs. Let me see if I can move this out. These are the leg pieces. So you need both of your leg pieces as well as two of the rhinestone pieces. 
So you're gonna put your last and turn it up this way so you guys can see, I hope. Push that up in there, and then we'll screw this on. Actually, maybe I did that backwards the easier way. Would be to go from the back. legs on there then you are going to place your clock piece through the hole and you're going to take this gold piece and you're going to attach it okay. then you're going to add your hour hand Your minute hand, and your second hand. And as you can see, the time on the clock is moving. And then you're going to go back in and you're going to add the stones to the top and then you're going to use these as a back to close this off so it'll go on there like that you want to go in and set your time there's a little turn knob on the back a little cog that you turn to set the time but other than that there is your finish there is the finished clock I also want to point out that I didn't put the whole glass on my heat press and you can see up in here where it's scratched it's, you can't feel it from the front, but you can feel it from the back. Um, I probably had, I think maybe just, almost just this from here on, on the heat press. Um, the next time I will sit the entire piece on the heat press, hoping to uh, eliminate that. And I did do the 400 degrees for four minutes. And that's the only place where that happened. But here is the finished project. I love it. Um, I will try to do it again. That is my pastor and my first lady and their three children. So this makes a great gift for Christmas, birthday, Thanksgiving, something to put up in your home, in your office, uh, anywhere. But it makes a great gift for everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.